Good day, this is Jason here from Forex Trading Watchdog. And today we're looking at gold. We had a double bottom last week. Okay, as you can see right down here is a double bottom divergence setup. Okay, so when price near the end of the week last week, probably Friday, took off up and then came back down would have triggered your order right there where the where my mouse arrow cursor is right there you would have got long your drawdown would have been a hundred pips even though that doesn't look like it and whammo 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 and whammo 1500 pips ladies and gentlemen how do you like them apples huh <laughs> That was a wicked trade, man. Woo! What a ride. What a ride. Hold on to your hat. Here we go. So anyway, look at this mother right here. This freaking wick here. Like, it's like, it's like a 1,200 pip, 1,000, 1,100 freaking pip spike down and back up in a four-hour period. Let's see what it looks like on the, on the hourly. Look, look. It all happened within an hour. Let's see. What does it look like in the 30 minute? Jeez. How long? How long? Let's look at the 15 minute. Look, look. In 15 minutes, still, we have this long wick. What about five minutes? Did it happen in five minutes? Yes. Oh my God. One minute. What date is that? That is the 26th. So it, so it happened, I think, in one minute. Let's go check this out. Ah, doesn't show it on the one minute luck. It shows that that must be a bad tick. I don't know. It showed up, and it's like it opened up right here, and then it went. <clears throat> and then the next candle opened up up here. Um, I think it's just a bad tick. What they call a bad tick. Yeah, must be a bad tick. Anyway, the sucker went up 1,500 pips, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, <clears throat> gonna take a little drink of water here. So I've decided now that I'm just gonna cover all the pairs that I, you know, that I cover instead of doing separate videos and pictures and this and that and and Yankee Doodle. Okay, I'm gonna cover all of them in one shot, but I'm just gonna post it as one but once you see the video you'll see that it's more than one so let's go now to the pound and I'll show you all the other divergence we had this week because divergence works ladies and gentlemen over and over and over again but I think what the problem is is what with a lot of traders is they don't want to trade divergence because it's not something that has all these colorful indicators on the chart that you need, you know, because that's what traders like to trade with. All these either confirming indicators that all confirm the same thing or indicators that some do and some don't. And you know what? Neither one of them gets you really anywhere, okay? I know, I've been doing this for like 19 years. Hitting 20 years soon doing this this uh, trading here. So I know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, hey, it's your choice. But I'm going to keep showing you that it works. And if you want to learn how I do it, hey, you're going to have to pay. Okay? You can go all over the internet and get it for free. Go ahead. Will it be the same as mine? I don't think so. But anyway, it won't be the same trading. So anyway, here's the double bottom right here, and whammo. So we would have entered our trade right here, okay, as soon as we saw some gap here. But anyway, I can't talk about that too much, 
can't tell you when and why and where I get in my train. That's in my training. So, stop would have been 255 and it went up 800 pips, ladies and gentlemen. That's the pound dollar. Let's see, do we have any Fibonacci bounces off this here right here? Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, right from the low. That would have been to that previous, yep, yeah, right there. And look, whammo, right off. Almost hit the 61.8, baby. And up it goes. Wouldn't be, wouldn't that be a nice dip to buy right there, eh? You did a trade like that, man, it's like you're a freaking rock star in trading, okay? A trading rock star when you do trades like that. All right. Okay, let's go look at the euro now. Euro, same thing. We had some divergence. I showed you these divergence trades too, baby. Oh, yeah. Right here. It's like a triple bottom or whatever right there like that. Woo, look at that, man. And right here. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, there it is. Lines up, lines up. Would have got long right there. Stop would have been 156 pips. And did it do our 2 to 1 win loss ratio? You bet. It did more than that. And it's still going to go maybe right up here. Okay. I guarantee a lot of people were so afraid to buy down here because they thought, oh, it's going to keep going down. But the news came out on Monday, ladies and gentlemen, where. They said the government's going to kick up and print up and puke up another two trillion. Two freaking trillion dollars in the United States. They already, they owe, t they're in debt. Twenty-three trillion dollars, man. Okay? They can never, ever, ever. Sorry if I'm getting into this, but it just makes me mad. They can never, ever, ever pay it back in in a million of our lifetimes and they're just printing up another couple trillion and where I live in Canada you know uh, they're they're printing up what, what is it is 82 billion or something it's like you know one-tenth of a trillion it's nothing compared to the states but the states have triple the population we do but still do they need two trillion dollars Come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they need one trillion. If they're going to do it as opposed to the same uh, level as Canada, say say Canada is going to do a hundred billion. Okay. So there's a th there's a thousand billion in a trillion. So think about it. If the states was going to do it on the same level as yeah as as the Canada. They would, they would print up one trillion, not two trillion. What's the other trillion for? To give to the, all the elite rich people in, in the world? Like the Rothschilds? I don't know. Okay, I, I say too much. Oh, my God. There's a word I can't even say in here because they'll ban my video. And I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, okay, back to this. Okay, let's see. So, we got our 2 to 1 win-loss ratio here. All right. Let's just see what the Fibonacci tells us to hear right there. Boom, shakalak. Same highs on the pound. What happened? It came right down and, look, bounced off to 50%. See that? And then it went up here and came down and bounced off to 38.2 and went all the way up. Here we go. Yahoo! Making those pips. Okay, let's look at the Aussie dollar. Um, I don't believe there is any divergence here at the beginning of the week. Okay, because this would have had to come down here or, or make a lower low here, and it didn't do that, right? And there was divergence on the way down right here and right here, but guess what? Something didn't give us a signal to buy it. So we didn't buy it. You got to stay short. Um, so anyway, there is some divergence. Let me show you. It's right here. 
this pole back to right there and right here from this little red wick wicker right there boom to right there so your entry as soon as this can went up whatever would have been right here stop would have been 159 pips and so far we've hit our one to one win loss ratio on the Aussie dollar excuse me had to take a drink let's look at the Swiss franc now okay and we have the same opposite mirror image of the euro just like that boom we have what you call there like I don't know one two three four five uh, a five star top I don't know what you want to freaking call it but anyway it's divergence man okay you take it right from there from there to there boom there's your divergence would have entered right here stop would have been around 100 pips you would have suffered around 50 pips drawdown and as you can see we're at 281 pips right now you only need another 20 pips to get your two to one win loss ratio i tell you man divergence is the best strategy man this is what you need to trade but you know like i said a lot of people don't want to trade it they're afraid of it because it's something you got to look for it's a chart pattern they don't want to look at a church people don't want to look at chart patterns they're too lazy they 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 say oh i see something and then it looks like it is and then it isn't and they're all confused and they i know there's a lot of people they told me even myself you know when i first started I, I i could not find them i could only find them after the fact and that's because i didn't have the information that i do have today to show you them before the fact before it occurs right so so many people are scared because they can't grasp it and they can't grasp it because nobody's teaching it right on the internet on the internet for free okay on all those blogs on the internet and yes I'm doing this on a blog on the internet because I want you people to see that what I teach here it really does work even though I'm showing you after the fact I can't show you trades in real live time because I am not a financial advisor and I cannot do that because I can get charged for that because I don't have a license to be a financial advisor so I can only show them to you after they occur but what I'm showing you <laughs> is something so good and like I've been showing it if you if you're a follower of my blog you can see now I've been doing this for I just started this blog in November 2019 I've been doing this week after week showing you trade after trade after trade and I've even showed some losers too but very few of them very few because they mostly win all the time but anyway you can keep trading those indicators, those pink and purple polka dots on your charts. You have so many on there, it looks like freaking Christmas. And they sell those Christmas, I call them Christmas, Christmas tree systems, because they're full of crap on your chart. Looks like Christmas, looks pretty, looks nice, but it isn't going to help you make money. So anyway, here we would have got short, a stop. And boom like I said we're almost almost at target two okay let's look at the yen now and the yen we had a nice one two three four five <laughs> a five tops five star top here again I guess you can call it they're higher highs but ah whatever so we would have got shorts right in there did I put an arrow on that last one no I didn't put my arrow okay I gotta put my arrow you know that arrow <laughs> yeah one guy emails me goes are those are those arrows painted on there for me to trade in the system or or did you put them on and I laughed so hard <laughs> 
No, I said buddy. I did. I, I, it's not an indicator that shows you where to get in and out with an arrow. Oh, the freaking arrow. Holy jeez, man. It's like, no, I put it there to show as a demonstration only. <laughs> now I'm getting a cocky attitude, sorry. That, you know, this is where you would have entered the trade after the divergence occurred. Anyway, back to the end. So I would have got in here. Let's make this bigger. I didn't put on my, see, I'm talking too much today. I'm all full of talk. I'm not doing my steps here, what I'm supposed to do. So right here to right there almost lines up. Anyway, would have got short right there. Look at that. Stop was right there. Doesn't seem like much, but it's 100 pips. And oh my goodness, there's 276 pips. There's your 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. You know, look at this pair. Look at these three trades right here. Short here. Went down 500 pips. Long right here. Went up 470 pips. Short here, 270 pips. Hey Amen. You gotta like it. And then we're back to the gold again. As you can see, that 1500 pip winner. Um, I just want to show you the Dow. Okay? And not that I mean to show you the Dow, but anyway, look, right here. What do you see here? What do you see there? What do you see there? I see divergence. So, if you would have got short right there, that's 420 points, ladies and gentlemen, to that high right there. You definitely would have got your 420 points. <laughs> but anyway, we're not looking at that for that. I just thought I'd show you. Divergence is everywhere. I just want to show you on the daily is it on the daily? No, it's the week. No, it's the monthly. Monthly. I want to show you something here. Okay, you see over here? Right here? This is November. Okay. Or, hold on. I don't know. That's January 28th. Okay. 2009. Okay. The, the house crisis started in here in 2007, started to sell off, and it went through the whole year. It took a whole year to come down here, okay? And it came down from the high to the low. I think I showed you this last week. Maybe I didn't. 7,768 points. That is a huge drop, but that drop took over a year a year and a half because you got one two three four months yeah yeah it's a year and a half a little more than a year and a half to the for that to happen from to drop from there to there now look over here ladies and gentlemen <laughs> it's unbelievable let me show you take it from the low of 2009 to the high right there boom to the high of 2020, okay? Do you see where it came to, ladies and gentlemen? 50% of this whole entire move that took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 years, a decade, man. And it crashed 50% in basically how many weeks? One, two, three, four, in five weeks, not even five weeks. Watch, watch. Yeah, starting the crash here. One, two, three, four, and just the opening of the fifth week, it crashed fifty percent because of this uh, medical virus that's happening. I can't say the word in the video because they'll ban the video. So anyway. They don't want nobody saying nothing bad about that virus. Um, but anyway, 
it's pretty crazy, man, how this market crashed that much. And I believe, okay, we came back this week. The only reason we came back up this week, okay, and we came back how much? 4,500 points is because they're going to pump in $2 trillion into the whatever or into somebody's pockets. I don't know. So anyway, just wanted to show you the devastation of the crash because of this and what it's doing to the markets. I don't think this is the low yet. Okay, I think I'm giving you my prediction not that I'm going to be right. I could be right, I could be wrong. But I still think it's going to crash more. I think it's going to come back down and put in a lower low and go down to even here to 15,000 Dow or worst case like totally devastating if this happens down to 10,000 it goes down to 10,000 it'll clean out all the people's money that they have invested in these markets through those mutual funds and stuff um, I myself had some some mutual funds um, in this uh, market kind of thing and Right here in 2018, when it started to crash, right here, okay, I said, oh, oh, what's going on here? It looks, it's not looking good. So I was, you know, panicking, and I got out. And I got out, and I lost some money for getting out, you know, because where I got in. But anyway, so... Look what happened. It crashed down. It crashed down good, man. It crashed down. I got out like right around here. It crashed down another 3,000 to 4,000 points from where I got out. That's right. I got out right there at the top of this right here of that day. I got out. And then look what happened. It just went up and went higher and went higher. And I could have made money on it. But I'm so glad I got out of it <laughs> because look what happened now, right? Would I have survived this? Hell no. You know, maybe people who got in, right, got into their mutual funds back down here, right, somewhere back in 2015, you know, you're still okay, you know, or before that, you're still okay. But people who got in, who invested in mutual funds up in here and up in here, they're, they're all upset now. You know, because they're in losses. Anyway, I can't keep babbling on here like this. Um, I'm sure you guys got better thing to do today. Uh, let's just take take a quick look at oil. I don't. I gave some divergence trades there last week. I can see them. Um, there's no divergence here, and there's. Kind of, well, there is right here. Look, look, look. Here it is. I didn't see that wick. Here it is. There, we got a double bottom right there. Your entry to, to, to go long would have been right here. Okay, you're, you're, you would have had a 400 uh, point stop. And guess what? So far, it's not doing very well now, is it? To go long. So, right now, you're down 200 points if you were in that trade. But anyway, it's still not finished yet. Still hasn't hit the stop and still could rally up yet. Who knows? But gasoline sure is cheap to drive your car, eh? <laughs> okay. Anyway, once again, this is Jason Sweezy covering all the, the Forex pairs that matter. And uh, once again, I just want to say thanks for listening. Um, this is the Forex Trading Watchdog. If you like my video, please subscribe. Make sure you click on the gray bell so that you get all my videos in the future. If you like what I'm saying to you here right now, because there's no fluff, there's no guff, and there's no bullshit from me. I only tell you genuinely what's going on, and that's it. I'm not one of these, uh, you know, guys like out there that are... Just baffling people with bullshit, you know, just to try and, you know, do what they do. I'm not even going to say it. But anyway, 
I don't like to talk bad about people, but there's a lot of them out there. I give it to you straight to the point honesty here. Okay, so thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, hit the like button. Click on my subscribe button. And uh, make sure you click on the gray bell and make it look like it's ringing. Otherwise, you won't get the emails, okay? All right, it's Saturday. Have a great day. Stay safe.